Right guys, thought I'd record a little quick intra workout banger. Topic of today's vid is goals for 2024 and how to set big bulbous goals. So first point, when I started lifting, one of my goals was to hit a 100 kilo squat. You might say, man, that's actually super light. Because it was super light, but at that stage I could only squat 72 kilos weighing 68 kilos myself so obviously insanely weak and skinny and i hit that 100 kilo squat and then last year i hit that 100 kilo bench and the point is, is that you have to set goals that are just far surpass even your ability to imagine them but you have to have absolute confidence in them that's the mindset like i want to hit a 300 kilo deadlift and obviously right now the most i've ever done is 205 so i'm 95 kilos off but I'm confident that if I keep training the way I'm training, and keep eating the way I'm eating, I know I can pull that weight. And it might take two years, it might take four. But that's not the point. The point is, is that I'm doing everything in my capacity today to reach that goal. The same with making money, all of these things. I mean, you can't set these conservative goals that are like, oh, I'm going to put on one pound per week, or I'm going to add in blinking. I'm aiming for just 110 bench, having benched 100 last year. That's 10 kilos of gains. Like, you've got to think bigger than that. You know, I'm going to be horsing the heaviest weight possible. That's 120 this year. Sweet. I reckon I can hit that. I'm going to be printing cash this year, not just making money, not just getting a job and working part time. I'm going to be printing. It'll be coming out the printer like this. So, that's really the mentality that you have to approach all of these things. Um, and again, like when I started, I weighed 68 kilos. I put 20 kilos on in a year. And it's not to say I'd set that number for myself specifically, but it's like I wasn't thinking, oh, let's hope I can get 10 kilos heavier. I was talking to people and I said, well, I'm going to weigh 90 kilos. And they're like, oh, there's no way you're going to put on that much weight. And I don't know exactly how long it took, but I got there in the end. Um, and I plan on getting higher. Like for this year, I want to hit 100 kilos body weight. I know that being that heavy will help me hit some heavy lifts, and I'm still going to be athletic, like, I'm not going to be a slow, clumsy ox, I'm planning to be an athletic, performance-based, explosive horse, that can go for runs, can tap people out on the mats, maybe do a bit of kickboxing, I mean, we're going to run out of time to do everything, obviously lifting will be number one, but four pillars training, on developing those capabilities as a man, and look, there's nothing wrong with a bit of obsession. And I realize, like, obviously I encourage everyone to train, especially men. I think I probably do it a bit more because it must be, like, one of my charismas, you know. One of those things that I'm really drawn to that I'm interested in, that I can teach people about. So I'll probably do it more than people necessarily need to. But, you know, I hope that I'm channeling it as a good thing. And I'm channeling it towards the glory of God and for the strength and purpose of my vocation and for the building of his kingdom and if I can do all of those things and you know build a healthy and strong body I mean I'm not going to be slacking you know I'm going to be getting that good nutrition in getting that good sleep in getting that good training in and I know that's going to fuel and supplement my spiritual life as well um so there's actually two bits of content which I also wanted to mention on this vid the first is a tiny little guide on how to keep Christ at the center of the gym because that's difficult, you know, when you're horsing weight around, you're getting big, you're looking better, you're feeling better. It's easy to just turn that gaze inwards and start looking at yourself, start hitting some poses and all of that, which, you know, you can make the argument that it's all right. But we've got to keep our eyes fixed on God and the glories of heaven. And this body, while, while good and while pleasure is good and while God has given these things to us to experience, that points to something higher. You know, this isn't the end of the game. So that's number one. The second in a similar vein is Stout and Devout, a series on talks on how to live the faith. And that's where I'm going to talk and expand a bit more on the things and aspects of a Christian's life, which the gym really helps develop. So I'm currently working on that now and will develop, uh, blink and deliver it as fit for the kingdom, of course. Um, but yeah, make sure you do get some training in. Because it is essential for our vocations as men, whether that be spiritual fatherhood, physical fatherhood, intercessory suffering for others. I mean, the list is endless. 
Make sure we're also getting those spiritual gains in the chapel. And make sure that we're growing in love. Alright, pray hard and stay hard.